If people say、uh, the kidney energy, the kidney not working properly, you can either easily have more fears in your mind, in your body. And so, by opening up the channels, by balancing the qi in the liver, in the kidneys, of course, the fears is going to go away, and the anger is going to be balanced. If you trust yourself about healing yourself, that is a piece of cake. Once you open your mind, open your heart in this way, you allow the abundance to come to you. You don't need to go search for your life full of abundance, filled with abundance. So, and you can also become a healer too. After you learn this, many people look at me and say, "Wow, Chen Yi, you were born a healer. You were such a gifted healer." When I listen. And here, the people make that comments on me. I always smile. I always admitted that very bravely and proudly. I said, "Yes, I was born a healer, and I am very gifted." And at the same time, right after this, I will say, "So are you, and so are you. You are also gifted too, and you are also born a healer." Long time ago, when I was in China, I loved basketball. I played a lot. Games and plus, at the time I work on the farm up to my graduation from high school. For five years, I had a lot of injuries in my back, in my neck. I had bone spur in my neck as a young man. I had bone spur in my lower back, and my I my knees had arthritis. I was not able to run, and I was a college teacher. And a couple of times, standing teaching, all of a sudden the pain was just so so. Painful, and I almost fell on the floor. In a bad day, I really wanted to cut my legs off. When I had that much pain, I was not able to play basketball anymore. Climb up steps, you know. I have to、oh, so、holding the rail, you know, so to to climb up the stairs. And, and then I started gaining weight. My biggest size of my belt and my my pants is forty one, forty two. That was pretty big. And now it's like at thirty two. Hey, I love it, right? As a young man, you know. So wow, that was that life was just so miserable to me. Then one day when I came to a Qigong master, with the thousands of people sitting on the soccer field, on the, on the dirt, on the in the soccer field, listening to this Qigong master, seven hours and a half, and he was pretty good. He talked, he talked, he talked, meditate, talk, meditate, talk, meditate, talk, meditate for seven hours and a half, no break, no bathroom time. To American, that is a physical abuse. But most of the Chinese at that time were very good obedience. So after I finished that seven hours and a half meditation, the swollenness in my knees completely went away. Eighty percent of the pain went away, and my suicidal depression. Also went away too. For instance, let's say the, uh, 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 talking about our body. A nurse came to came to talk to me. A person who was diagnosed with terminal cancer went to the temple, make a prayer, asking Buddha for help. Then a monk showed up, asking this man, so thin, he said, "No, what、uh, what happened to you?" He said, "Oh, I have cancer." I'm looking for heal, healing. I said, "Oh, you know, I tell you, I, I, I will show you an exercise." Then this is the exercise he learned from this man. He said, "Very simple. Go home every day, two times a day. If you have time, do more. Clap some hands and stamp your feet, just like this. Please forgive me. Just like that." And he was so happy. He went home every day. He did that. Two months later, went back to the hospital, cancer-free. You know why? Because in our body we have twelve major meridians. They all start or end in the hands, in the feet. Clapping the hands, thumping the feet. You know, open up all these meridians. The channels open. Energy can flow. It, the cancer's energy got transformed. That's it. Do you believe it? You believe it? The question is, you believe it? It works. You don't believe it? It still works. <laughs> Let's give it a try. <laughs> Ooh, see the energy! Wow! <laughs> Ooh, I'm sweating.
happening? <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, one more exercise to, to, to show you. And um, it's in, all, in our days, a lot of people have heart problems. Even you don't have heart problems, a lot, you have some other energy uh, challenges because of the heart meridian, the heart energy is not working properly. In order to keep yourself, if this exercise can help you to keep a balance to your heart, if you don't have any blockages in your heart, right? If you have energy blockages in your heart, or you want to heal your heart the arteries and you know, the muscles in the heart, now this is a, you know, exercise can help you to heal that. I had a friend who had uh, the, the artery in the top of the heart over here is like uh, uh, 35% or 40, uh, 45 percent block. By doing this exercise for two months, it down to 15 percent. So it was a good deal, and you don't need any medication. But with medication, it works even better, right? I, I'm, tell, I'm sharing this exercise to you. I don't mean that you know, after you do Qigong, you don't need to go see a doctor. You do need to see a doctor. Doctor, they are all angels. Together with the Qigong, to, with the yoga, with the other exercises you're practicing, and you, it can help you to heal faster. But to me, Qigong can help to heal with so many dimensions. It is more powerful. So this exercise goes like this. Clap your hands nine times, and then clap your elbows. This el elbows inside nine times, from left side, then the right side, and lift up your arm, and cup your armpit nine times, and then right side nine, nine times, and then repeat two more times. All right, let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. So when you clap, you clap, clap it form, right? Not, not like this. That doesn't work. You have to clap it that way, right? Because all these energy points connecting to the chest, to the lungs, and to the heart. And uh, under the arm peak over here, there's a very powerful energy point connecting to the heart. It is a, there's an energy point over here, we call it the heart saving point. It's very powerful. So keep this a simple exercise in your life. The best time to do it is it around noon time, from 11 to 1 o'clock. Find this two minutes and do it. It will help you a big deal in your life. So Qigong is very simple, but it's very powerful. With a love, it helps you even more. With unconditional love, you can help you heal even faster. This is, I guess, what, what the vision and the mission of Spring for Qigong we have. A healer in every home and a world without pain and suffering. Remember, 20 years ago, when I came to this, to this country, I had only five students. And now, through our centers and our uh, uh, healing courses, we already had 300,000 students in the world. Not including, we, at that time, we only had one teacher, that's me, and now we have over 200 teachers all over the world. That 300,000 students not include the students, what our teachers taught. So, and again, we always believe and we practice this too. The most powerful healing energy is love, is unconditional love. And I was born a healer, so were you. Thank you so very much.